heaven I'm in heaven And my heart beats so that I can hardly speak And I seem to find the happiness I see When we're out together dancing cheek to cheek Hi, welcome to Moments with Mimi. And today we're going to do a special video and we'll finish the Four Horsemen next week. Uh, a request was made to speak about uh, getting that special person. So I'm going to speak about that. Now, again, this goes back to the law of liberty. And if you use that law uh, from a place of guilt, because you accept that you did this and that you pushed them away and you made them be the way they were and but you're in guilt you haven't forgiven yourself and so you go to imagination and you imagine them being with you and you're not looking at the lesson that is to be learned and that's okay Sometimes you uh, just got to learn the hard way. And that's what special persons tend to be about. Because they're your intimate messenger. And you need to listen to them. Now, you don't listen to their I am. You listen to what they're saying. Then you go within and you change it. So... You know, if someone is saying to you, man, I wish I'd never done that. I wished we had done blah. That's a message. Go revise this. Change this. You, you need to change this. So you do. You know, um, if it's something like, you know, I wished we'd never met. You know, that's another story because that's not what they're telling you. They're telling you you don't love yourself. And you feel like you don't deserve the best. And this person is being the bully that you expect to get because you're a victim. And this is the main core state of consciousness that we all go to in the end. So you have to break away from that cycle, from that state. you got to change that state. So what state are you looking for? You know, you're looking for a state of love, that you love yourself. And if you truly recognize the law and truly accept that imagination creates reality and that your I am is the only I am that matters, it's your awareness and that's all that matters, then you shouldn't really be feeling that way. Uh, you should love yourself. So uh, a lot of this becomes super, super easy, you know, once you, you tackle that monster. You're God. You're perfect. You've always been God and you've always been perfect. They were just states. Sin means missing the mark. You're missing the mark. You wanted to be something and you weren't. You're missing the mark. You know, you're striking out instead of hitting the ball. So hit the ball. Let's hit the ball. It, you can do it. Keep your eye on the ball. Focus. So um, a lot of, I think one of the best analogies is baseball. So for baseball, you know, the catcher can see the whole field. He can see everything he calls the game. Okay. The manager tells him, this is what y'all do. He sends the signal out. Everybody else responds to what the manager has determined. That's, that's the game. You're the catcher. Okay? The manager is your higher self, is your imagination, God and man, God and all. They're all you. They're going to respond according to what you believe and see how they respond. 
So if you think, um, for example, if you're in the car driving home and you did something that you like and you feel guilty about having done that, and then you start making up this argument in your head on why it was okay for you to have that. You know, and then you get home and you have an argument about how you did something that pissed him off, which was what you wanted to do. So, you know, you beat yourself up. You're beating yourself up. That's what you're doing. So if you can just stop and think about that for a little bit, um, you know, you need to just go somewhere and get in the bathtub, whatever, and think about it and confess. Confess. Admit it. Yes, I've been doing this. Yes. Now, thank you for taking that away, Father. I believe in you. I believe in me. I believe the two of us are together and nothing is better than living in heaven with you. You know, and now apply that to the special person. So, for example, um, it's hard in a relationship, and it really takes a strong mental diet when you're in a relationship to uh, keep the focus. And it's just a habit. Once you've done it, you know, successfully for a couple of weeks, then it starts becoming very easy. And you may find some insidious things like, you know, you want to make them happy. So everything's going great and then something happens that upsets them. So you go revise it or you go change it. And really you're being a victim. His I am doesn't matter. Okay, her I am doesn't matter. Only Yours matters. Everything's always working out well through them. I don't care what they say. You know? Oh, sweetie, don't worry about that. Everything's working out great. You're just an optimistic shit. Yes, I am, and you love it. <laughs> you know? Whatever. And there's times, you know, I, no, I don't love it, Rita. I just really don't want to hear it, okay? You know, okay, that's not going to stop me from loving you. And that's not going to stop me from believing that things always work out well for you. Okay, it's okay. It's all good. You don't uh, try to wake them up because you'll get some kind of, you know, crazy thing going on. If that's not their role, that's not their role. They'll come out and tell you, I don't believe in that, woo-woo, blah, 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 blah. You know, but that takes you accepting it. you. It's all you. So it's kind of easier. And you just imagine your story. This is how it is. So let's get into a few things. So if you think about it, you're talking to yourself all the time. Whether it's in the car, in the shower, in the bath, brushing your teeth, being in the bathroom, whatever, you're always imagining and talking to yourself. Now, think about how you do that. So if you're having conversations with somebody and you're just imagining it, you know, that's that's the natural way for you. You can't go around um, stomping around, she's with me, I'm with her, you know, she texted me, blah, 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 blah. You're, you're just really, it's not natural. That's not how you talk to yourself and your imagination knows that. Your imagination knows you better than you know yourself. It's like your dog. Your dog's always watching you. Your dog knows when you're going to get up before you do. So, you know, stop and think about it. So you need to make it natural. You need to think about what story you're going to tell. And then you tell that story and you stick to that story. And that's what is meant by, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> we all laugh at that, you know. And that's because well, that's what we're doing. 
So, you know, for me, I like to think of songs and ditties and such as the Fred Astaire Ginger Rogers clip. That is a perfect thing to think about. You know, to watch, close your eyes, listen to that music, and imagine being with your special someone and dancing cheek to cheek. And you're in heaven. Right? It feels good. You're happy. That's who you want to be with. They're wonderful. There's nobody better. Now, when you've had a rough time with somebody because, you know, you didn't know these laws and now you do, you have to deal with it. Okay? You have to deal with it. When you don't deal with it, you've accepted it, you put it under the bed, and it's going to jump out and bite you one day. You know, that's, that's how it is. So, you can't ignore things. You have to confess. Yeah, I did this and deal with it. And that is not how he is. That is not how she is. She is the most magnificent. She loves me to bits. She wants to be with me all the time. Really? Is that, you know, is that your girl? Yeah, that's my girl. She's my girl. My girl, my girl, talking about, oh, my girl, my girl. <laughs> and then just keep it natural. You're with her. You're with him. You're with her. You're with him. Screw that imagining a text message. That means you don't believe they're coming to you. And you're trying to, to just do some, some something, to get something from them. You're being needy. Okay? They need your attention. Your I am is the only one that matters. You're still bowing to their I am. And they really don't have one. I mean, they do, but they're in your world. And you're the only one who sees through your eyes. So only you can determine how your world is going to be. They're just a person, okay? They're, they're just a person playing a role. That's it. So you change how you see them, and they are compelled to change. That's how it works. We are all compelled to show the other what they believe. We're all giving messages and gifts all the time. And you put on these states of beliefs, and as long as you believe in the objective world versus the subjective world, then it's just going to keep showing you there's no good and no bad, no good, no bad, no good, no bad. Because you believe, for example, you always get, you know, whatever you want. Well, the day will come when you won't. You know, they're going to show, it's going to show you the other side. You will do something. You'll malign someone. You'll do something. And shit will start happening. Just... Okay? Because as long as you believe in the outside world, you don't love yourself. You don't know who you are. You have amnesia. And you're running around like a chicken with his head cut off. You know? Spewing blood out of his neck. That's why you don't cut a chicken's head off. Because a chicken will run around without its head and spew blood everywhere. Okay, that's that's where that comes from. So you have to love yourself. Great things always happen for me. I'm magnificent. There's not another one like me and never will be. Another one like me cannot be made. I have my part in this play and it's beautiful. It's my play. This is my story. I'm the one in charge. He loves me to bits. I love me to bits. Everyone loves me. I have so much love in me that it, my cup runneth over. Your body is the cup. Your body is the Holy Grail. You drink from the Holy Grail. You drink the wine. Wine represents imagination because when you're drunk, you're in your imagination. That's where you are. That's why people say, well, you say what you really believe when you're drunk. 
So, think about it. And, you know, from my own personal experience, you know, the first six weeks of our relationship was just, it was heaven. It was heaven. He was awesome and I was awesome and we were awesome. And then, you know, came the moment. And that moment ended up becoming my hell and dealing with the outcomes of that hell and how we came back together again. And I knew the physical um, violence wasn't going to happen again. I knew that for sure. He loved me and I loved him. But I still was bowing to another's I am. And, and all I ever wanted to do was make him happy. Even if that meant I wasn't happy. And you have to be happy for everybody else to be happy. You have to live in heaven if everyone else is going to live in heaven. You have to believe in the best for them to present the best. Uh, it doesn't matter who they are or what they are or what's been going on. It doesn't matter. If you want your jailer, your Satan to go, then you have to know that you're priceless. You have an important part to play and it's your part. And you know, all is provided for you so that you learn. You're always taken care of. Always. God provides all. There's nothing but God. It's all God. It's all consciousness and imagination. And you're choosing what to give attention to. And once you put on a state, the responses are automatic. You need to take it off. And the way you take it off is you go to silence. Now you're not in any state. You're just being. And then you imagine the end. This is my state. This is the state I'm in now. There's an infinite amount of states because there's an infinite amount of beliefs. And you're going to be shown. Don't judge. That's, that's what you're being shown. Don't judge. Love. That's it. Love. 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 It's all love. And, you know, you feel guilty. And that's just one of the worst things anyone can feel. You just got to rip that sucker out of there. And say, no. It was a state. I didn't know. I forgive myself. And I forgive everyone else. Because I made them do it. I forgive myself. Okay, now it's easy to accept the bad part. Oh, I made them that way. It's hard to accept when you haven't been loving yourself that the good comes to you just as easily as the bad. It's, it's just as easy. And that's one of those beliefs of, well, it's just not rewarding unless it's hard work. You work hard and you'll be successful. No, you were, you were born successful and you were born to win. You've always been a winner and you've always been successful. You just weren't really picking the things you wanted to be successful about. You thought you were, but this is zombie land. This is backward land. You're in the mirror. Break through the mirror. You got to break through the mirror. You're lifting up your right hand. That's not your left hand. You know, that. no, I see my left hand right there. No, it's your right hand. Okay, that's, that's what's going on. You believe the mirror. It's just a mirror. Step back away from the mirror. And look. So it's about um, figuring out what's natural for you. And then you imagine your end. You go to silence. You're not any state now. You go to silence. You're just floating. And then you attach the state you want to be. Okay. 
which is, I love my son. There's nothing but love. Things always work out well for me. Everybody loves me and I love everybody. It's all good. It's all very good. No one can show me anything but they're good. That's all I'm going to believe in. If I'm going to believe in a good or a bad, there's only good. There is no bad. In the Bible, it says it's good, it's very good, which it means it's perfect. It's all perfect. And we've been playing in the clay of consciousness, making this monster and that monster and everything. As soon as you accept that you did that and love them, I love them with all my heart. I love them. They're not that way. They've never been that way. They've always been wonderful. And start telling yourself the things that you told yourself at the beginning of the relationship. And then you'll see them change. So it, it's things like that. Now, if you don't have a special person and, you're, and you want one, it still comes back to I love me and everybody loves me and, you know, divine law and order govern my life. My special person is sleeping with me every night. I love being with someone and talking with them and having dinner with them. It's, it's great. And you just, you know, make the story and tell the story for, you know, a week, a couple of days, whatever, and then drop it. You know, if you don't have a special person, it's easy to drop it. When you do have one and, you know, you're in a situation, you need to pull out the life hacks. There's only unity, harmony, and love. They stop themselves within a minute from arguing or whatever. And then you can go breathe, get yourself down to six, eight breaths a minute, relax. And no, things always work out well for me. No, he didn't say that. He said, no, she didn't do that. She did. Or, you know, no, that didn't happen. I don't accept that. That didn't happen. And, you know, move on. Things always work out well for me. So as long as you understand or when you say certain words like the word God, and you know when you say the word God, that means my imagination and using the word God is perfectly fine if you're used to saying God and thinking outside of yourself then it's not fine you need to use the word that indicates that to you now the universe is not it okay the universe is the created it's not the creator source you know whatever the universal source it, whatever you want to call it Neville called it imagination and it is. It's imagination. Because the price is a story. And so it's all imagination. So tell the story that you want to experience. And this is what you, how you express life. And the only condition is faith, hope, and love. You must love yourself. You must love your world. You must stop judging. If you want a happy healthy, wonderful relationship with someone and you have to love yourself. Otherwise, that boogeyman comes out from under the bed and grabs your foot in the middle of the night and scares the crap out of you. That's what happens. If you imagine having them out of guilt, you get them back all right, but it's a pet cemetery situation. So, you know, think about it. You have to deal with it. And I know that's not fun, but you cry it out, you confess, and you say no more. From now on, I love me. Only thoughts of good come to me. Thoughts that are limiting, self-destructive, um, you know, fear, doubt, guilt, all those kinds of thoughts are instantly self-destructing when they enter my mind. <laughs> And an ocean, an ocean of divine love and peace washes them away, dissolves them away, and leaves behind only unity, harmony, peace, love, prosperity, 
abundance, riches, beauty, joy, things of God, all things good. Doesn't that feel good? It does. It really does. So you're of the divine. Call upon the divine. Divine law and order govern my life. Divine peace fills my body and soul. Divine love saturates my mind. Infinite intelligence guides me in all ways. You say these things and over time you'll realize that you easily let go because you know infinite intelligence guides you in all ways. And when you go in to try to, you know, you fall a little bit and you think, oh, well, I'll go use my imagination to go change that because he's unhappy. And you'll realize, which, you know, what comes afterwards, you do that and you think you've done so great. Things always work out well for me. And then the next day all hell breaks loose. <laughs> You're like, what? What happened? You know, and you stop and think about it and you realize, oh, man. It was working. Everything was working. Everything was great. And I jumped in there and tried to to bow to another's I am. So you dust yourself off. And you say, no, 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 no. None of this happened. I revise all of this. No, that did not happen. This is what happened. And thank you, Father. You know, Divine law and order govern my life. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I love my life. And things always work out well for me. So think about it. It's just loving yourself. And when you fill yourself up with love, you'll be surprised. It is the lowest common denominator. And all wonderful things will come to you. Something wonderful will always be happening to you because you believe that you love yourself. Something marvelous is happening to me today. You know, I, I love me. Divine supply is my supply. Something wonderful is happening to me today. You know, divine love saturates my mind. Woo, I'm going to go have my lunch with my baby today. Isn't it wonderful? So, and then you drop it. It's something to think about and also, you know, when it, you're really close to that kind of thing and you're having trouble letting go, just go read a fairy tale. Go read it, another fairy tale. Go watch a show that makes you laugh. Go outside and garden. Go out and do something. Something that takes your mind off of it. So... You know, I hope this helps. It's, uh, if you need some more information, let me know. And I'll do another special video on it. But it's really about loving yourself because it's all you. And if you don't love you, no one and nothing else can. That's law. You don't love you, nothing else loves you. Okay? Law of attraction. And you vibrate, law of vibration, what you believe in your heart. And you believe in your heart, you're not worthy. And you are worthy. You're magnificent, you're perfect. There's not another like you. So just, you know, work on that. And don't think about them. And it'll all work out perfectly. It always does. So thank you. Thank you for being you. And I hope this helps. I throw these up there in the hopes that they will. It's just my way of looking at things. I think a lot of people sometimes need a Mimi. You know, and when you reach the point of, um, I'm just not going to judge anybody. I don't care. I know it's all a state and all is forgiven and, and all are loved. And I love all my babies. You know, I've been made aware of seven and a half billion people on this earth. I love them all. They're my babies. So I present this as my way of seeing it in the hopes it will help my babies see it that way too. Or at least 
help them find the story that helps them see it. It's all a story. Blessings to you. And thank you for being you. Heaven, I'm in heaven. And my heart beats so that I can hardly speak. And I seem to find the happiness I see. When we're out together dancing cheek to cheek.